Hausler with the Kalfa Creek Apple Nursery. It's a beautiful early February morning here in Southern California. The first of the early varieties are just starting to blossom out. And we're going to be harvesting rootstocks today that we grew out specifically to be the roots of our new trees that we'll be grafting. And just in case you're wondering why we're doing this, here's a short primer on rootstocks. Over the centuries, high performance roots have been developed for grafting apple trees onto. It's like joining the brains of a scientist to the legs of an athlete. We call these root stalks. They have also been used for size control, keeping the tree small and manageable. The root stock we're working with today is M111 EMLA, which is adaptable to sandy soils or heavy clay soils, is drought tolerant and resistant to an underground pest called woolly aphid. It is vigorous and deep rooted and certified to be free of viruses. If left ungrafted, it will bear apples, but they're not very good. We don't care about this as we want it for its roots. But you just can't plant a seed from it to get more of them. It has to be clonally propagated, which gives an exact copy of the original tree. This is done in what's called stool beds, where the tree gives off many sprouts and we cause these sprouts to grow roots. A tree of M111 is grown for a year or two and then cut off at ground level. This causes it to grow many sprouts like a bush. And as these sprouts grow, we cover the bottom of them with sawdust or sand. The sprouts will send many roots into this wet sawdust. And then at the end of the season, we cut them off to grow new trees onto. They will continue to produce every year like this for many years. Every orchard should have a few of these stool beds in order to be able to graft new trees to increase the orchard or sell to other farmers. This rootstock started out its life as a bench graft where the graft didn't take and the growth came up from the rootstock below the graft and we let it grow for a year to establish itself and then we cut it off at ground level and potted it in this pot. And this is what has grown up since then. It looks more like a bush than a tree. And as it's grown up, you could see that we filled uh, this upper level with sawdust as it's grown. You could do the same thing on the ground, just piling sawdust or sand or any loose mix around the roots as these are growing up. And what this has done, let me show you by pulling this ring out. As these grow up, they will root themselves into the sawdust from the base of the branches. See, this is one big mass of roots here. These are all coming off from the tree. See how this variety of rootstocks readily roots into sawdust or anything or dirt or sand that is around the base of these branches. And what we'll then do is we'll cut these off individually. And see how that has roots coming off it? This will be the bottom part of a new tree. We will cut this off about this high. And you can see We've already got a jump start on our trees on a couple of these. As these were growing up, I did bud grafts on two of these. And once we harvest this out of this clump, we'll cut it off above here, and this bud will create the new tree that's already grafted, saving yourself a year. Now I'm going to work at cutting this clump loose from the main tree, going down really deep, getting underneath it all, Once I got a clump loose, you can shake it off and separate the individual roots and see how this will make a new tree, how it's already rooted into the sawdust. And this will do this year after year. Once you establish a bearing tree like this, See, the trees, to the roots to the original tree are still down here inside this pot. 
and it will send up the same number of shoots again next year. And this will do this year after year. And like I said, you can do this just as easily in the ground as you can in a pot. And you'll have your orchard producing apples and also giving you the materials to make more trees to either add to your orchard or to sell. See, even these little ones can be planted. And when you plant these, even the parts that don't have roots will sprout roots from these because this variety sprouts roots very easily from anywhere that's touching the ground. And here's what we end up with. We have 12 root stalks ready to graft 12 new trees. I've trimmed them to length. These ones that are already grafted, I will trim it right above the bud graft. This will be planted all the way up to there. And these will grow out into our new trees. And so from that one root, just in one year, we got 12 new root stalks ready to graft 12 new trees. You could even see where it's starting to send up new roots here. These will be next year's crop that we'll be harvesting from this, these root stalks.